Right, so as we get a little bit further into this idea of the narrative essay, one of the things we need to give some consideration, some time to, is this idea of the hook. Now, the location for the hook is kind of going to take the place of what would normally be a thesis statement in any other kind of essay. But for purposes right now in this narrative essay, since we're telling a story, our hook wants to sort of swing in here at a point at the end of our first blog post. So right there at the end to sort of get the audience to want to continue to read. And so here in the post here, there is another link that takes you here to another post where I talk a little bit more about some examples of hooks. And I brought in some examples from graphic novels since I'm having you do here is based around the idea of a superhero. So if you click on the links here, you can take a little bit further, but I've also summarized these for you, but you can take a look at them in more detail here. Um, the example here, the first one is this introduction begins with the visual interpretation, of the lines of the book of revelations, quoting from it and leads to a warning about turmoil. And that's it's kind of hook. It's setting up a story. Uh, here's one from flex Tao, and you can click on it and take a look at it. This one kind of plays with the perceptions of reality in a weirdly kind of twisted, fun way. Uh, Superman, whatever happened to the man of tomorrow. This one is actually really interesting. This is actually literally just one page. And it's very centrically located on an image of a Superman statue that says In Memoriam. And asking whatever happened to the man of tomorrow. And then right here is the setup. And I think this is a pretty good one. Where it says, away from the big city, people still sometimes glance, hopefully up at the sun, the sidewalks, glimpsing the different speck in the sky. But no, it's only a bird, only a plane. Superman died 10 years ago. This is an imaginary story. Aren't they all? So it's setting up for this twist of like, okay, well, what happens? The idea being here is it gives you something that's kind of weirdly designed to kind of push you into a place where you're going... Well, how did we get here? What led us to this? What happens next? Things like that. You're trying to bring it in. And in a real simple way, a hook can be something just as simple as, I opened the door and I saw something and you'll never believe what it is. Now, you don't tell us right there what it is. You leave that for the next post. Okay? Um, this is one I'm a big fan of. March uh, by John Lewis, Nate Powell, and Andrew Iden. This one takes place on the Edmund Pettus Bridge. This is based on historical events. And it's really interesting because this is where the protesters, led by John Lewis, who recently passed away, uh, confront the police in their march on the capital of Alabama, told it's an unlawful assembly. And what I find particularly interesting about this is they go to pray, they're attacked by the police. And this one's even really dramatic because here's the main character being dragged, hit in the head, and it goes black. So this one is more visual than written. Okay, but you could write that out if you wanted to and sort of describe that as well. It does a really nice swear, you know, he's beaten down the page ends with him going black. Now, from the assignment sheet, there is a PowerPoint and the one that I I included this at the end there uh, about Fun Home. Now, to give you a basic background, the story here is that this is a story about a daughter coming to terms with her relationship with her father. Um, there's some controversy around this, but it's really interesting because it says here, like many, my father could occasionally be prevailed on for a spot uh, for a spot of airplane. When he launched him with my full weight would fall upon the pivot point between his feet and my stomach. Here's oof. It was a discomfort well worth the rare physical contact. Now that's already hinting at here, rare physical contact, showing that they're not close and certainly worth the moment of perfect balance when I soared above him. In the circus, acrobatics where one person lies on the floor balancing another are called Ikarian Games. Now, some of you might get the reference here, but Ikarian Games is about the reference to Myth of Icarus. Considering the fate of Icarus after he flouted his father's advice and flew so close to the sun that his wings melted, perhaps some dark humor is intended. Here she is. Uh-oh. In our particular reenactment of this mythic relationship, in this case, a father-daughter, it was not me, but my father who was to plummet from the sky. Now, she doesn't mean that literally. She means that metaphorically. But it's setting up this idea that in the story of the myth of Icarus, it's the child who falls from the sky and dies. And this one, she's hinting at something involving her father in this being an inverse. But again, the idea is to leave you with kind of a little taste in your mouth or a little, 
you know, desire to maybe find out what the next step is. Okay. So I wanted to set this up because what I want you to do in your discussion, one of your discussion forums this week, is specifically engage in a practice example of setting up your hook here. Okay. And that will get us started on the path to creating our first narr- our first essay, the narrative.